where people consider Bangladesh as a tourist destination. But every alternative February since 2012, the international art crowd would descend to the south of Asia, the capital city of Bangladesh, for Dakar Art Summit. And today we have the two masterminds of the event with us. Welcome, Nadia. Welcome, Rachi. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you so much for joining us. <laughs> and so I was personally in Dakar for the summit twice. 2016 and 18 and I'm really impressed by the event not so much by the city but the event is really amazing and this is what we are going to talk about I really want to know why it's so successful what is the recipes mm. what are the kind of elements and factors and how did you make it to become such a, such a successful event but before we dive deep into this phenomenal event tell us a little bit about Bangladesh for those people who've never been there. So Bangladesh is a part of South Asia. It's one of the eight countries in South Asia. And um, we, we are the only country who fought for our language. It's a new country. We have independence since the last 47 years from Pakistan. And 1971. Yeah, 1971 was our war. And we also, uh, uh, we also fought the war to speak uh, Bangla, mm. a language, and uh, yeah. It's yeah, and another uh, interesting information I wanted to share that Bangladeshi women has the highest purchasing power in South Asia. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you are the representative. <laughs> no, a lot of things has changed for us, like since 1971, and and the country is growing. Uh, over like you know uh, our uh, growth rate is over six percent annually and which is amazing and one of the fastest growing country in South Asia. Mm. I can feel that to get the speed but also the kind of chaos in the city and I the first time I went there I was kind of I thought I have to prepare a lot <laughs> but then the second time I'm really free flow in the city it's like I'm already kind of familiar with the environment. Right. And then so today, we would like to talk about the Dakar Art Summit, mm -hmm. your magic baby. <laughs> Why is it so successful? I would even call it a phenomenon. Yeah. So, you know, one of the main reasons we started the uh, Dhaka Art Summit, because, you know, we also felt that uh, definition of South Asia to the mm -hmm. rest of the world, especially the Western world, uh, we felt it wasn't correct. And whenever we would talk about South Asia, people would only talk about India, India. or like, you know, a little yeah. bit of uh, Pakistani artists. And as Nadia said that, you know, we are, uh, we have eight countries, including uh, Bangladesh and South Asia. And mm -hmm. plus one, we also work with Myanmar. Mm -hmm. So we work with nine countries. And one of the most challenging thing about South Asia is our art infrastructure. It's yeah. not that much developed. Only India is leading when it comes to uh, mm -hmm. art infrastructure. So I think that's why people had very little idea about South Asia or what is going on. Another important thing that we also felt that within the region, we were also not talking like, you know, the countries within the region, we didn't have much cultural exchanges. Mm. So that is why we, that is how we came up with this idea that, you know, there will be a platform for South Asian art where entire world can come and this to break Cover, down the yeah. isolation in a way? Absolutely, absolutely. Mm. And we always say this, that Dhaka Art Summit and is a breath of fresh air. And to build bridges between other South Asian countries. Mm. Yeah, like, that's what I noticed. Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. Mm. absolutely. We see, we see um, not just uh, Bangladeshi yeah. artists, but you're creating a kind of yeah. friendship and, and relationship. And the magic is the Bangladeshi artists, the South Asian artists. Mm. So they are the ones actually who made it successful. You know, we were just facilitators. We just created this event. You are being, being modest. Of course, of course. Oh, and the people, the oh, local people. Where in the world do you go to like an art event and see the number of people that we yeah. have? So, so, the so the public. Yeah, this the time public, in nine yes. days we had over 317,000 visitors 
uh, wow. who, who, who came. So this is amazing. And I'm sure you have noticed in Dhaka, it's always crowded. Like yes. even the venue yes. is always crowded. Yes, yes. Yeah. And you're doing it in one kind of a condensed venue, one right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Compared to other like mega events of the scale, what you're doing. Yeah. So, so we had to actually plan a lot of things like keeping mm. traffic, everything in mind. As, so, you, as uh, you've been there twice, yes. you saw how uh, it's quite challenging to get around. So it was also a, a decision for us to keep it under one roof. Mm. And we're lucky that we have a big space like that. Mm. It's a government building. 220,000 yeah. square feet. And, and we uh, occupy Shilpa all of Gala? it. Yeah. Gala, and yeah. we do it in uh, partnership with Bangladesh Shilpakala Academy and the Cultural Ministry. So mm -hmm. they have been also a great support from the very beginning. So it's an event not just for kind of intent for international art audience to also like exposure, giving exposure to uh, Bangladesh artists, but also for the public to come and learn Absolutely. from um, from the event. What are they? Absolutely, right? and especially for a country where we don't have a dedicated contemporary art museum, yeah. mm. so where actually you know local audience can mm. see, mm. and and you know this is also to an extent awareness building for contemporary art, and at the same time it's for rest of the world to come and understand what South Asia is all about. When I was in Dhaka, particularly this year, I had this discussion with my friends and people that I just met. It was a magical moment, right? You meet so many new people. And everyone was wondering, like, why is it so successful? And we have this kind of um, idea, thinking that is it because of the kind of intensity of events? You have the exhibitions, talks. Um, solo shows, different sections of exhibitions, and then also kind of everything is condensed in one venue. Mm -hmm. So you feel like the energy is just there. Like you keep everyone, the visitors as well, you keep them all in the same place. So everyone is contributing all the energy from every different aspect, just like condensed. This too, even um, during those like this year, nine days, last year, um, two years ago, four days. Okay. and. That is the kind of feel of this excitement, and you feel this wow, what's a successful event? And it's a model which is very different from any other yeah. biennial. Yeah. How, how did you design it like, from the very beginning? Uh, is so, it kind of strategic? Uh, um, well, it, it was kind of strategic. I mean, we would also want different venues, mm. but because the, as you say, the, the commute is difficult. Mm. And um, the way the Shilpakala building is, we don't have any more buildings like that. Mm -hmm. So, and that was the perfect venue and so much space. And plus, from the government side, we also have a lot of freedom. The artists have a lot of freedom to do um, yeah. a lot of things in the building. Yeah. And model-wise, actually, I think, like, you know, so there is also a question that why Dhaka Art Summit is like this, mm -hmm. right? Like, you know, multiple curators, yeah. so many things are happening. So, you know, the fact is, like, when we started at the very beginning, of course, you know, this is the model we came up with. And our main confidence was that, you know, we, we have nothing to lose, right? Like, you know, we, so that is how you started, but we wanted to do something different. And, you know, every single decision is very strategical. The simple thing is that, you know, say every Dhaka Art Summit, we have about 10 curators who are working with us. Diana is the chief curator, but there are independent curators who are doing independent exhibitions. And the curators, yeah. they are from um, international institutions. Yes. Absolutely. Well, yeah. We, one, invite, the, we yeah. invite the curators two years ahead. Yeah. Mm. And one and of then the main the reason research. is that, you know, we want them to do research in the yes. region. Yeah. And when yes. they go back, they take back the knowledge to the region. So it's not that only nine days, actually it's a long-term plan and that is how we have been uh, working and you know, of mm. course we were very uh, lucky and fortunate, mashallah, that you know it worked out. Yeah, the research part is something I really, I have great admiration for you. The generosity and the way that kind of long-term um, thinking, vision mm. uh, that you plan out this thing. Two years, to, uh, two years of research to, um, to make an exhibition, to make an event and also the fact that the exhibition start in um, Dakar, and then they will travel to other cities. This is yeah. a, a very important proof that yeah. it's a, a, a very successful yeah. event and high quality exhibitions. Yeah, one of the exhibition is now showing at the Parasite in, right Hong, now, Kong. in Hong Kong. Right now, in Hong Kong. Everybody should go and see. <laughs> 
and it is it is going to travel also. So this this is amazing. So actually, you know, Dhaka Art Summit probably like it ends for nine days, but the exhibitions projects they travel around the globe for a year, year and a half. What is the impact on the Bangladeshi artist? Did their career become a more international? So you have Bangladeshi artists here also. Art Basel showing. Hong Kong this year, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, yeah doing so solo booths. Experimentary yeah. sh uh, showing uh, Aisha Sultana, mm. and uh, yeah, so so this and and there is a lot of South Asian artists actually who participated in Dhaka Art Summit and now yeah. exhibiting here. It's amazing. We see how yeah. the, the the power, the energy, the contribution of just one couple can change a lot of things. You are the real game changers in the art world. And then so that I would like to ask you, because you're a couple, mm. you live together, you work together, you have a family, you have three daughters, daughters, daughters yeah. beautiful daughters. Your life is synced so much, like seamlessly together. Is this also an element that contributes to the success of the event? And today we're going to do a little <laughs> test. <laughs> How much can this kind of uh, um, synergy, we can even say it, um, <laughs> how, how important it is uh, for an event. So you have your phone. Mm -hmm. right. I'm just going to ask four short questions and please like, write down your answers without showing to each other. We would okay. like to <laughs> see how you, how much you know each other. <laughs> Are you ready? Yeah. Ready. <laughs> In three words, divine success. 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 That's hard. <laughs> it's not that much a philosophical question, but how much you understand each other? <laughs> oh, definitely. Success would be completely different. Mine is done. <laughs> Should I show this to you? She needs one more word, I think. <laughs> okay. Can you show us? Yeah. Okay. Cool. So my okay, you go first. Dark Art Summit, <laughs> commitment, and giving back. Dark Art Summit, commitment, <laughs> and giving back. What's yours? Okay, my one is happiness, goals, and being content. We see different, uh, <laughs> a little bit of difference, right? More on the action side, more on the emotional reaction, the spiritual side. Right. The second question would be easier. Yeah. Your favorite place in the world? <laughs> what did you write? Bora Bora. Maybe we went for our honeymoon. I thought, I thought it's for like favorite holiday. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> your favorite place in the world, Bora Bora. That's yeah, the place where you had your honeymoon. Yeah. yeah. It's the best memory. Oh yes, amazing. Your sweet memory. Mom when was home. it? She's also smarter, the same. You know, so. Mom is home. <laughs> Golf. <laughs> the next question. Who is each other's favorite artist? So you write down his favorite artist. And you have to write an wow, artist's favorite okay. artist. That is hard. <laughs> no cheating, huh? Your own answer. <laughs> um. <laughs> Guessing. <laughs> Guessing okay. game. There can, there's no one favorite artist. You want to cheat? <laughs> okay. You got it? Yeah. <laughs> I think okay. you're more obvious with your choices. Okay, wait, 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 wait. I know which one it is. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Tagore. Do you agree? Yes. And your answer? Aisha Sultana? Yeah. You agree? Yes. Wow. <laughs> okay. The last one. Thank God. <laughs> <laughs> Who is your favorite team member in Dakar Summit? Oh, your that's colleague, very your favorite team teammate. Okay, that is hard. It's yeah, they're all of our favorites. Yeah. Your answer first. Diana. 
Diana. <laughs> <laughs> That's the key for the success. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank, Thank, you. You. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. So check out the Bangladesh artist um, at the Art Basel, and then in 2020, Dhaka Art Summit. See you there. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.